right now is Flyers general manager Danny Briere. Thanks for coming on. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks, guys. No, thanks so much for coming on with us. So let me ask you, trade deadline today, Eric Johnson, Dennis uh, Guriar. <laughs> Guri Anov, you add to the to the roster. What will those two individuals bring to the team for this run uh, towards the postseason? Well, Eric Johnson is a uh, is a big defenseman that has played a lot of playoff games. Has won a Stanley Cup in Colorado uh, just a short few years ago. Um, he's going to get come in and bring some experience to to our young group. We have. Uh, a young group of defensemen with the injuries at this point. So um, that's, I think, where most of his value will will be. But he's still a good player. He's still a big physical uh, defenseman. So we're, we're really excited to, uh, to acquire him. Um, you know, after uh, trading Sean Walker, who was having a fantastic season, um, we wanted to, to bring a little bit of help to our players and our team uh, because of the situation they had put us in um so far this season so that was uh that was a reasoning there and then in Dennis Gurianov um we just wanted a little bit of depth up front he's a also a a big player that skates really well uh, a few years ago we had a good run in the playoffs we he was electric with the, the Dallas Stars um you know and uh, seems to play well when the games matter and into the playoffs so we hope he can kind of find catch fire again in, in that, um, you know, in the postseason uh, or down the stretch here to, to help us make the playoffs. Danny, Tom, Avord, really appreciate you coming on with us. Obviously, to get people, you have to give away some guys, and today you traded away Wade Allison, 26 years old, former second rounder. What made you comfortable parting with him, and what do you have to say about what he's done for this organization? Yeah, well, and, 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 you know, sometimes, like you said, you have to give up some stuff. Um, Wade, uh, you know, we, we – think the world of unfortunately he just wasn't able to to get the traction that he had going a couple years ago um we had him pencil into our, our lineup going into the season and he, he just couldn't he didn't have a very camp he got passed on by younger guys and and for some reason just the traction wasn't there um we like him and we hope he can you know kind of restart his career kickstart his career uh, somewhere else, um, you know, in Nashville now. So it's, it's not easy. I think a, a change of scenery for him might, might be good. Um, you know, and, and again, we're, we're bringing a player that might help us here, um, get into the playoffs and Dennis Guriano. That was the reasoning. Danny, there were a lot of rumors out there and there was word out there that you guys were offered, um, maybe some first round picks for guys that you opted to keep. So number one, is it true that, other teams were calling you, making decent size offers for guys currently on your roster. And if so, why did you choose to keep those particular players? Um, well, the first round picks, I, you know, they, I, I can't go there. Um, I don't know that that's fully accurate. Um, but we, we were getting a lot of calls on our players. And that's kudos to our players because of the way they, they have played. Um, you know, in the Sean Walker um, situation we felt that was just too much value that that we could not pass up um, and you know as far as the other guys yeah uh, you know but we had to evaluate evaluate what was best for the for the team at this point and you take into consideration what they bring to the team what they will keep bringing to the team uh, versus you know the returns that that you can get so um the value was was there for Sean Walker. It wasn't quite there for for the other players, and um, you know that's that's the reason we uh, we stood pat uh, for the other guys. But you know we're really excited to to add another first round pick in twenty twenty five. Yeah, and speaking of that Sean Walker deal, you got to pick a first rounder, but it's not for this draft. It's for next year. Was that a big part of that trade? And also, uh, when it comes to Ryan yeah. Johansson, is he part of the plans here in the future for the Flyers? Yeah, as far as the uh, the pick there, this season going into the draft, we already have two first round picks, and we have a conditional second round pick from uh, from Columbus, who is going to be early second round. So we felt in you know in the range from probably fifteen to thirty six, we're going to have three picks there, and that's the reason why we were hoping to kick, kick um, if we were acquiring a first round pick that it was going to be twenty twenty five. 
Um, it's supposed to be a, a good uh, year um, as far as the prospect coming in. So we wanted to add uh, another pick in 2025. So that was the reason for that. As far as the Ryan Johansson, um, at this point, he cleared waivers. I tried to look around. Um, there was just mild interest in in him. Um, nobody really stepped up to the plate to to acquire his rights. Um, so we've we've asked him to report to Lehigh Valley um, for the Phantoms. Hopefully, he can help the Phantoms. And, and and you never know; things change fast in hockey. Hopefully, he can can get it going catch fire maybe in, in Lehigh and, and we'll see, but I, I don't have a plan really past that at the, at the moment. We're speaking with Flyers general manager, Danny Briere. So you guys finally said in the off season, the word that a lot of fans wanted to hear in rebuild. Now we're on the day of the trade deadline. And if the playoffs started today, you'd be in the postseason. How do you go <laughs> about balancing the goal of, as Keith Jones said, multiple 100-point guys. That was his word of the type of player he was looking for as far as building. You may already, you likely already yeah. have one in your system. And also trying to now make the postseason because I believe the majority of Flyers fans out there now expect you guys to make it. I know. It was a, a it was um I see it as a really exciting uh, situation uh, because, you know, we, we got to kind of, thread the needle a little bit. We acquired a huge asset in the first round pick, uh, but you know we weren't willing to spend high end assets. But we wanted to help our team and show them, you know, and reward them for what they have done so far this season. So um, yeah, it was it wasn't easy, but it, it's an exciting situation. If um, if our players hadn't been in the situation that we we were in, we probably would not have been looking at a chance to acquire a first round pick in 25 in a Sean Walker situation. So to me, it's, uh, you know, your, your players and your team steps up and plays well, and that creates value. And that's why a lot of teams were, were interested in our players. And when we try to maximize the return on, uh, on, on Sean Walker, but at the same time, there's an importance there too, when you're, you're building a team and the culture and that's coming, uh, but also with a young team, to give them the chance to play meaningful games. We're inside the playoff bubble right now. And, and instead of chasing teams, we're being chased. Um, and, and that's exciting to acquire that experience. And, and if we're able to, to get into the playoffs, well, even better, we get, you know, to put our, our young players in the spotlight. Uh, there's nothing like playing playoff hockey in Philadelphia. And, and I hope our young guys get to experience it in, in April and, and May this season. It would be tremendous.